Hello guys, my name is Amit Sani and I welcome you in this daily PIP analysis video and uh, today is 21st of first of February and Thursday it is the data is here we are going to discuss that and uh, you see exams are approaching so these pen drive courses they are going to help you a lot you see these videos these PIP videos do not skip them till the examination these videos they come in the evening and the Hindu, Hindu analysis videos they come in the morning so all are carrying very important current affairs and you see current affairs importance is too much in the civil service uh, prelims and means both uh, stages so very less days are left and uh, things are going to be very very fast now so the person who is consistent who is uh, making these compilation uh, repeating things regularly and uh, going with a moderate level of preparation not too fast not too slow and uh, that person is going to win this race i'm telling you the question that i gave to you yesterday regarding vayu shakti exercise when uh, this exercise is having a parallel with Gagan Shakti. So these two are confusing one. Vayu Shakti is related with the Air Force's uh, exercise where they are targeting the ground based uh, locations from the air. So the air strikes are happening from air to ground. So for this particular exercise, Vayu Shakti is there and it is happening in 2019 in Pokharan, Rajasthan. It is near the India-Pakistan border in Rajasthan in Jaisalmer district. So there it is happening and Gagan Shakti is related with the air to air exercise. Okay, so those attacks are there and these uh, combat aircraft and all they are participating here. So the first uh, statement is right here and the second one is wrong because it is not a military exercise. It is air forces exercise and not for the Indian Ocean region it is for everywhere so one only is the correct answer second DRDO is established in 1958 it's perfectly correct statement and it was regarding the research area in the defense technology so this is okay but it does not work under the Ministry of Science and Technology it works under the Ministry of Defense it's a defense PSU remember this so this statement is wrong and one only is the correct answer here Next, Raisina Dialogue, we had discussed about it in the month of January when it, it was happening and the fourth uh, edition that was completed last month. Raisina Dialogue, it's a very important dialogue on the lines of Shangri-La Dialogue that was started in 2001 and it was regarding the Asia's security scenario and this Raisina Dialogue has become so famous within four years that uh, many countries they are part they are participating here and uh, academician, entrepreneurs, uh, security experts and all these uh, ministers uh, and uh, parliamentarians everyone is uh, taking part in this and observer research foundation that's a, that's the organization that is organizing this event in the collaboration with ministry of external affairs so second statement is right and first is wrong because it is not between india and eu it is for whole world and happening in india raisina hills are there where uh, rashtrapati bhavan is located so that is why the name is given as raisina dialogue so two only is the correct answer here Second Minister of Commerce and Industries data, uh, NABH revamps entry level certification process for hospi hospitals. You see, uh, you must have heard about the Quality Council of India. The question was asked in 2017 prelims examination. Quality Council of India works under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry and it is mainly maintaining the quality in uh, most of the things. It is making a standard for India and there used to be a national accreditation uh, board. Now Quality Council of India, it has uh, uh, replaced that and it is working under the Department of Ministry of Commerce and Industry and this NABH is a constituent body of this Quality Council of India in the health sector and they have now revamped the entry level certification process for hospitals so on the nascent stage they are supporting these healthcare organization small and bigger one both and a new portal called hope healthcare organization platform for entry level certification they have come up with this uh, particular portal and it is going to create a quality healthcare ecosystem in india and these hospitals they are going to be linked with the the ERDA insurance regulatory authority and ayushman bharat like schemes you see ayushman bharat is a game changer in this area and insurance uh, regulatory body is important here because in health insurance is the most important thing to discuss today and it, it should be there but uh, unfortunately right now the penetration of health insurance in the Indian masses that is very less and uh, that should be the uh, prime concern for citizens and in all the developed countries it is the main thing because without the health insurance uh, sector the common people they cannot uh, support their 
health because disease burden is huge and india's shift towards the non communicable disease now the per capita expenditure on health it is going to rise a lot so that is why this health insurance is very necessary so it's a important uh, link that is discussed here focused here next hope is not just confined confined to certification of uh, these healthcare organization and small healthcare organization but also enables them to comply with quality protocols improve patient safety and healthcare facilities okay so that's important and uh, next these are the important features of it you can uh, read about them and you see you see quality council of india and nabh they both have collaborated with many organizations like indian medical association and patient safety india foundation and uh, this consortium of health organization cho so they are going to work in a particular ecosystem and this portal is going to be crucial hope portal regarding quality council of india in 1997 it was established under the department of promotion of industry and Inter internal trade so it is related with the ministry of commerce but you see nabh is a component but it does not come under the ministry of health it only comes under the ministry of uh, commerce and industry so that you remember because it is the constituent body of quality council of india that's important nabh so certainly this year maybe uh, this question would be asked nabh next ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare in the agricultural science congress is going on the way indian science congress happens uh, in uh, every january every year so agricultural science congress is uh, going on and our minister radha mohan singh he is calling it a agri research kumbh because all kinds of agricultural related science churning is going on and all technological upgradation uh, new kind of uh, advancements and all these things are discussed here and that is the only thing that can help in the distressful sector of agriculture of india so they are discussing the new schemes of uh, these uh, income support to farmers like pm kisan 6000 per annum which are given in three installments of 2000 rupees and 12 crore farming families they are going to be uh, directly benefited out of it so that's important and apart from that he uh, discussed about the nikra climate resilient agriculture because the climate change is the most discussed aspect of this world and it is happening and the sector that is going to be impacted at first and the most that is agriculture and ultimately the food security of the world because in 2050 there are going to be around 9 to 10 billion people on the earth so from where we are going to feed them and climate change is actually going in the uh, opposite direction of the production so we need to take care about the climate smart climate res resilient agriculture we need to devise those methods so that's important for us it was started in 2011 in india nikra and the soil health card scheme uh, was also an important addition that was a technological help for the farmers and he also talked about the pusa soil testing and fertilizer recommendation meter that was discovered by developed by uh, sorry developed by not discovered by ira agriculture research institute delhi and uh, now right now iri celebrating 50 years of remote sensing technology in india you see uh, it was 1969 when they first uh, attempted to recognize the disease of uh, root wilt disease in coconut plants in the early stages with the help of remote sensing technology through the satellites so this remote sensing was asked in 2014 prelims examination that uh, what are the implications what are the uh, areas where we can apply the remote sensing and it can be used so many many areas are there and agriculture is benefited out of this remote sensing technology a lot and in the same way the when the researches are going on and they they are trying to find out the minerals under the earth so there also remote sensing helps a lot so it's a very important area and 50 years are completed in india for remote sensing next krishi sampada yojana was also discussed because it is talking about the supply chain management and the doubling of farmers income through the collaboration with the food processing industries because they need raw material from farms and these uh, uh, farmers they can uh, make these things available to food processing industries but supply chain is the ultimate need here so this krishi sampada yojana talks about that and apart from that innovations are the ultimate help in the agricultural sector and those are appreciated by these two missions atal innovation mission and the setu program self employment and talent utilization although uh, less educated people are there majorly in the agricultural sector but anywhere if there is any kind of innovation or any kind of entrepreneurship idea then uh, these missions are going to help a lot next aero india uh, 2019 show is uh, started it is going on it's the 12th biennial edition it happens uh, every two years and our minister nirmala sitaraman inaugurated the 
event and it was international aerospace and defense exhibition okay and many countries they are participating here four uh, i think uh, 600 indian companies are participating and 200 foreign companies are participating here and it started after a tragic uh, incident happened where one uh, pilot was dead uh, two days back when uh, during the re rehearsal of this aero india event this happened and uh, you see it is happening now in air force station yellahanka in the vicinity of city of bengaluru so that can be asked and it is for the first time that's important it combines the defense and civil aviation segments into a holistic event defense and civil aviation and both these ministries of defense and civil aviation ministry they are taking part in this particular event so uh, all kinds of uh, aircrafts planes and all our abilities they are being shown here and the minister talked about uh, many many initiatives like uh, 100% FDI in defense in two ways government approval and automatic route in automatic route 49% FDI is allowed and through government uh, uh, approval 100% is allowed and defense offset policy came in 2016 that was also discussed and defense investor sells defense uh, innovation hub we had discussed all these issues uh, some days back because these things were in news uh, innovation hub and IDEX innovation and defense excellence so all these are new things and uh, they were started last year only and they are actually supporting the idea of uh, make in india for the defense sector because the autonomy and the independence we need in the defense sector and weapons manufacturing that is the ultimate need we are dependent on the procurement systems right now and the sp model and all all these things are going on and the private sector is also allowed here uh, but these things are not a long term measures we need autonomy we need independence in the manufacturing so these uh, particular events and these abilities and these discussions and these technological advancements are needed and uh, you see now many many uh, new steps are being taken like make to a category uh, where some technology transfers would be there and uh, these are new methods where buy and operate buy and make these kind of things are discussed you see uh, i'm not uh, talking about uh, certainly the make to uh, version of this defense procurement but certainly these details are important and i would request you that uh, uh, read about this make to and uh, the first uh, these uh, I, I think the name was uh, simple make and this is make to so these are defense procurement uh, uh, methods and some technical detailings are there that how they are going to uh, buy that how they are going to procure that how they are going to uh, have the technology from these uh, original equipment manufacturers of the foreign uh, companies and uh, how these things are going to be integrated in our defense manufacturing so these are specific areas and that fdi policy i had discussed next ministry of electronics and it the vivid 2019 what is vivid vision insight and voices as india goes digital this was inaugurated by the union minister Ravi Shankar prasad and you see it is the idea of dif uh, digital india everything they are trying to make india digitized and make india fast and you see they have come up with a new electronics policy yesterday only we discussed about that and here all these uh, initiatives they are uh, taking right now just to make india a advanced nation digitally they have released a digital india compendium and a launch of digital mitra chatbot and a center of excellence on all these uh, important institutions so that they are giving so this vivid is an important event it started in 2017 it's an annual event okay an objective to empower nic officials in the field of technology because nic national informatic center is the main body here and uh, it actually uh, uh, creates all the technological platform and all the technological uh, uh, services for the government of india so in in most of the websites you would see uh, government.nic.in so this nic national informatics center works under the ministry of electronics and it that's important one and you see a uh, digital informatics officers are there and it is the meat of these officers vivid vision okay annual event remember that and all these issues of artificial intelligence machine learning and big data analytics these are the new areas and most advanced areas and these are being discussed and you see whole world is uh, totally focused on these issues because these are the future so we are also investing here and uh, our government has also started integrating all these concepts in the governance area next data is regarding the ministry of home affairs where they have allowed all C capf personals to be airlifted from the future because this thing was uh, 
coming as a criticism after the Pulwama attack that these were not airlifted. So now CAPF Jawans they would be airlifted and the uh, route would be Delhi to Srinagar, uh, Delhi to Jammu, Jammu and Srinagar, Srinagar to uh, Jammu and Delhi. That would be the route. And uh, right now the air courier sir, courier service to and fro that is going on and this particular airlifting would be in addition to this particular air courier service what is this air courier service when these soldiers and all they go on leave so they are airlifted just to save the time of uh, going and coming back because a lot of time is wasted in the journey so these uh, soldiers are airlifted so that service is already going on and that was extended uh, two times in, in December 17 and December 18 but now they are going to be airlifted for all the uh, travels because uh, uh, land travel so sorry the uh, travel on highways and all these are always risky because of these land mines and all and the way this uh, unfortunate incident happened and uh, these things you see it's these are always very tough to counter the way the car came and hit these convoy so it was very difficult to recognize any vehicle that it is going to hit us or not so the life is always in danger for soldiers and this airlifting is certainly gonna help these are the mcqs try them and put their answers in the comment section these are going to be very important this year in the prelims exam okay so thanks a lot keep watching the pdf i'm going to upload here on this group and on the telegram channel i have uploaded thanks a lot keep watching for some